starting off with Bulgarian split squats. This is my top set. And what I usually do for Bulgarian split squats is obviously start off with a warm up. And the way I was warming up was by doing body weight Bulgarian split squats. Then I used 17 and a half kgs in each hand. And finally built up to this top set where I've got 35 in each hand. And my rep range is around 12 reps per leg. Through personal experience and experimenting, I have found that higher reps on Bulgarian split squats do give me a crazy leg pump. I would say 90% of a leg pump compared to a leg extension, which you can imagine is very significant. Now, even at the time of voicing over this video, I can still feel my glutes. Now I understand why a lot of people perform this exercise if they do want to grow their glutes because they've genuinely been sore for so long compared to my quads or my hamstrings. And I'll definitely replace hip thrusts with Bulgarian split squats without any second thought. And that means it will allow for me to do the Bulgarian split squats at a much higher intensity plus more volume because I've dropped all of the volume and intensity I'm doing on the hip thrust for these. Since I was going for 12 to 15 reps, even with adequate rest time, meaning two to three minutes in between the big sets, not between changing leg, I had to decrease the weight from 35, which is my top set, and my first set to 25 in each hand for my second and third set because of how fatigued my legs were and how long it would have taken for me to recover to do that top set again. Not only is this exercise extremely good for engaging your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, but it's also amazing for your core stability and your core strength, as well as your lower back. Because usually when I barbell squat or after most of my leg days where I'd use the hamstring curl and then the leg extension to finish off, I wouldn't feel my core at all. But after this leg day, I did feel the top of my core to be quite sore, which is the first time I'm feeling this from any form of push, pull or leg day without directly targeting the core. Again, with the hamstring curl, I do one warm up set and then I immediately move up to my top set so that I can almost pre-exhaust my hamstrings to the point where I can't do that top set again and I'm forced to half the weight and half the stack. So that lighter weight feels a lot heavier and obviously I'm adequately resting again and I'd aim for 10 to 12 reps just to get as much blood pumped into my hamstrings as possible. The reason I didn't barbell squat today is because I do want to take some time off barbell squatting. Now that's because if I'm constantly barbell squatting and I'm not seeing a huge amount of progress, maybe there's other parts of the squat that needs improving. And what I mean by that is not the actual quads themselves because you see so many people being able to leg press 200 kg plus with ease but then can't squat three plates for example and that's because of core stability as well as lower back stability so if i begin to develop those and focus on that then i'm confident that the squat will increase and again the way i do this is by performing the bulgarian split squats and the fact that the unilateral exercise also helps me prevent injury in the long term because it prevents muscle imbalances which I do feel I have especially in my legs because when I am barbell squatting I feel that my right leg pushes a lot harder than my left and that the left side is a bit weaker. I hope this video helped make sure you like and subscribe and chat to you later.